Hello everyone, this is Antarion, and we're back on the mainland. We've uh, finished with the bad mage dude, we've given the Staff of Ascension to our wizard. So this is where the island was, we've cleared it, it was sort of a minotaur I would call him. That's how it looked, the wizard. I don't even know if he... well... We had a few choices within the game. We could have let him live and kill Isildur, which we're bound to see in a sec. For those that don't know, Isildur is the... Uh, well, he was a councilman, he kind of set us to kill other councilmen and then the other councilmen and uh, so he can assume the role of intermediary king and give us permission to go to the forge so we can um, build the sort of ascension with which we can kill the bad mage and that's pretty much the whole story. And we killed the bad mage. By the way, the bad mage can only be attacked with the ascension sword, that's it. If uh, Oh yeah, and I think it broke too. Yep, it disappeared. Oh, we had this one cover. Defense. So we're gonna set our um, normal weapon back. Too bad for the sword, I kinda really liked it. Oh well, whatever. So uh, let's go for Isildur now. We're in Valingrad, as you've seen. No idea where he really is. I think we have a few things to sell, but I don't quite care about them. Now this is where you usually find him, I don't think he's anywhere else, to be honest, but I guess we're gonna see in a sec. There we go, he's in the console chamber. And let's see what he has to say for himself, because otherwise I'm just gonna kick his ass. Have you eliminated... Oh my god, Rackham, Macken, whatever his name is, and um, retrieved the Staff of Ascension? So, it broke apart upon dealing the final blow to Rackham, Hackham and persuade. I'm gonna go with that. Yes, here it is. Hand over the Staff of Ascension. No, it failed. Why, if I didn't know better, I may have very well been uh, inclined to believe such a lie. Unfortunately for you, every text directly con uh, contradicts your claim. Now, hand over the Staff of Ascension. Yeah, 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 there you go, you can have it. Behold the Staff of Ascension. Why, I can hardly believe my eyes. I can feel its power surging through my body. What are you doing? What are you going to do uh, with the Staff of Ascension? Become a largely demon, yeah, surprise, surprise. Henceforth I shall be known as Lord Isildur, ruler of Antarion, commander of its armies and king of its people. All of Antarion power is now squ squarely? Yeah. Squarely con concentrated in my hands. You have done Antarion great service and shall be rewarded. Really? Looking like this, you're gonna reward me? What about all of the talk about uh, appointing a new council? <laughs> and after babbling, we want our reward. Yeah, let's go with the council thing, because it's more important for the, for the, I don't know, welfare of the land than just our reward. We're not like mercenaries. Actually, we are. Uh, you are a naive bunch, aren't you? Only a fool would choose a, commit a committee over a benevolent dictator. Dictator? <laughs> I, I kind of get that. But uh, you need to be benevolent, otherwise you're just a dictator. I alone am fit to rule Antarion. Why should I willingly subject myself to the pity and often corrupt whims of a bunch of dim-witted councilmen? I told you that I would appoint a new council because I knew that there was a chance you wouldn't go along otherwise. What else have you lied us about? Let me guess the mage that we just killed was a good one. Everything just about 50 years. Um, everything just about 50 years ago, Rackham Hackham and I sat sat on the council together. Upon learning of the Staff of Ascension, I knew instantaneously that it was my destiny to one day wield it. But Rackham Hackham was uh, wary of the power locked within it. While I saw its potential for good, uh, he saw only its power to corrupt. After years of research, I managed to locate the Staff of Ascension and set sent a group of conjured necrophile to retrieve it. However, when my necrophile minions got to where we believed the staff to be buried, it was too late. Rackham had already be beat us to it. Okay. Rackham something <laughs> fled to the staff of ascension to a remote island of the coast of Blackmire province. I followed him there with a small army of my necrophile minions. So he's basically a necromancer, just to point it like, or is that, I guess, I don't know, put it out there. 
the Rakayaka was in possession of the unbound power locked within the Staff of Ascension, we um, possessed something even more powerful, superior knowledge. Using portal magic, I had my uh, court wizard conjure an artifact plane, artificial plane, along with the portal connecting it to our world. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I then cast Rekka Hacken through the portal, looking, locking him within an extra-dimensional prison of sorts. My intention was to keep him contained there until the day that I could find the Sword of Ascension, along with someone to wield it against him. How did Rekka Hacken summon Necrophils from his prison? He didn't. This guy did. He didn't. I did. Yeah, see, told you. Now, just any, mm, not just anyone could uh, retrieve and wield the Sword of Ascension. It takes a rare combination of attributes and skills which your party just so happened to have. I spent months reading through prison logs trying to build a party with a unique set of characteristics necessary for the task. Eventually, I settled it on you four. Now, just until here, wouldn't you kill this guy? Whatever. At least slap him, silly. Where were we? Uh, unique set of character. Eventually, I set up on the four. Okay, but that was just the beginning. Next, I needed to find a way to sufficiently motivate you into doing my bidding, and I have found that there is no greater motivation than the prospect of total annihilation. Ah, <laughs> great! So I sent my necrophile minions to destroy Shadowbrook and to kill every last living thing in that dreadful dungeon uh, that you all were locked into. Actually, you kind of escaped a few guys. I think we rescued two of them, or at least one. Uh, that's awful, killing all those innocent people. Yeah, I'm not gonna go in genius, I do hate him. Perhaps the difference in our thinking explains why I will the Staff of Ascension and the Lord over all of the Antarium while you're but my lovely servant. No matter, as uh, lovely servants you have carried out my bidding well and shall be rewarded. The thing is we can't kill him. Now I'm kind of figuring it, things out because we broke the sword. Or at least it got broken when we fought Reckon Hackham, whatever his name is. I'm kind of feeling sad for Reckon Hackham now. I really thought he was actually lying, although it was kind of a elaborate lie, you know. Only good liars tell elaborate lies. Usually, normal liars just spin something on the spot and you kind of see through it. Oh well, let's see our reward. Probably death or something. For your service, you shall be rewarded with the Armor of Ascension. Ooh! Forge out of the same raw materials as the Sword and Staff of Ascension. The Armor of Ascension is the most powerful set of armor known to exist in Antarion. On behalf of Antarion, may I thank you for your service. I can only hope that you continue to serve Antarion with as much blind loyalty as you have thus far. <laughs> you, uh, we have got to find a way to kill him. One more thing. Yeah, let's go with one more thing. Have you come to service Antarion once more? Yes, we're all uh, we're always willing to assist Antarion. He has something else to to for us. Excellent. After uh, reviewing Antarion's official uh, census data, I've come to conclusion that Antarion's orc population has risen above optimal levels. Oh my God! The chances of an orc orcish uprising only increases. Uh, as the population levels rises. Therefore, it's critical that we institute strict controls, but we must be careful if we if we whittle down their population by too much, they'll throw a fuss and rebel, a reb, a rebel out of sheer sense of retribution. I've calculated that the reduction by 12 orcs is in order. He's gonna tell, send us to kill people. That sounds an awful lot like genocide. Yeah, it kinda does. We kill orcs for fun, or you will carve them up real nice. Wow, what great choices we have. Let's go with one. Uh, Tarion's official di dictionary defines genocide uh, true as tru truly, or a deliberate systematic elimination of an entire or a significant population of an entity, or racial, or religious group. According to census data, 12 orcs do not constitute a significant portion of the orc population, therefore this is not a genocide. And even if it did mean the criteria for a genocide, so what? As a ruler, I'm forced to deal with the practical realities before me. If I allow the orc population to grow unwithered, they'll almost certainly launch insurgents against Antarians 
other peace loving race resulting in hundreds of even thousands of deaths over time then people would blame me for not acting he has a point there but even so genocide is that the way how about treaties and economic treaties and peace talks and I don't know but help them to develop or give them a common foe for God's sake. I don't know, set them to clean up caves of bad creatures. Or, by the way, you can summon necrophiles, spawn an army, let them fight them. They, as far as I know, works like to fight, right? So give them something to fight. They're gonna die fighting anyways and gonna do you a good too. Oh well. I must. You make a good argument, we'll do it. We won't participate in our whole scale slaughter of works. I'm gonna go with two. I don't like works, but even so. Very well. But be forewarned, you will not adv advance your lot in this life with pity moralizing like that. For the good and the evil are not enemies, they are brothers. And what may look as evil upon close often appears as good from afar. Really? <laughs> If you <laughs> if you change your minds, please return. Yeah, please. Oh, at least he, he used the word please. You know what's sickening is that I can't do shit about it. Like really, I would love to smack this guy silly. Actually, I would like to smack a bit more than just silly, since we don't have like well anything. We have the armor, but that's just going to protect us better. That's it. Constitution, dexterity, dexterity and strength, and dexterity. This will go very well with our archer, but to be fair, it would go well on other of our party as well. Uh, apparently I'm gonna kinda have to equip my fighter with it. Gonna lose 7, uh, or maybe not, dexterity. Yeah, I guess he's gonna lose some de some uh, two-handed weapon skill, but we have a lot, anyways. I kinda wanna look how uh, uh, see how it looks, to be honest. Oh, look at us. We are gruesome. And we lose, what, some constitution, a lot of defense, which we get back. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I hope. No, actually we don't. We just win back a lot of, um... Uh, what's it? What was it? Constitution. Oh, well, whatever. So that's about it. Apparently this is the whole game, because... What you can do now is go upon the world and finish the quests you have, explore, kill everybody if you so wish. But that would be just genocide, like we just sort of uh, said no to this guy. What I would like to do, but most likely I'm going to do it off camera, would be to try the other way around, you know. Let Rackham Hackham, whatever name he has, free if we can. I don't know if I saved on both of those saves that I have. Okay, I guess I'm going to see. Uh, well, I'm gonna do it off camera anyways, and uh, I guess, well, this is pretty much what you can expect. You have to choose. You can go uh, evil looking and not so moral, or you can go with the bad guy that seems to have been within the story, for most of the story at least, and try to, I guess, give him a chance. Who knows? Maybe he's gonna be better. I don't quite think so, but... Eh. If I guess the other guy would lose the, the staff, he would transform on a normal person. Staff can be broken apart and thrown in the four corners of the earth, and we could just... I don't know. I think we could resume as king, and so on and so forth. Oh well. We had the staff equipped on our priest. <laughs> or ma mage. Okay, but I guess that's about it. We, it's your choice which way we want to go. We don't really know what the other guy would do uh, either. I'm gonna try to see if I can, but I think I saved. So I kinda destroyed both of my saves. I don't think I have any save before we engage Rackham, Hackham, whatever his name is. Okay, so with that being said, if you enjoyed the clip, give it a big like. If you wanna see more, subscribe, and especially if you enjoyed the series, uh, give us a big like as well. Um, and with that being said, I'm gonna see you guys and gals around uh, on any other videos we're actually going to make on, on the channel.